September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Hello everyone, welcome to Fate the Unholy Trinity, a play on the Holy Trinity. As a child who was not born in an Atari age, this whole design seems dumb to me. But I'm willing to give this game a try to see how good of a story it is. This Markiplier played it once in a while and I really enjoyed his playthrough. Don't know how it's gonna be on my own. And even the title screen is in Latin some reason. Well then, let's begin. Chapter 1, 2, 3, and Marathon Mode. Oh god. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you have been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Okay. Oh god, thank god I was born in the era of Half-Life. And Blood 2 and games like that. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna explore. Go straight up. Most likely. Oh well. Oh what? Oh my cross. Oh okay. You are invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Okay, am I going to a birthday party all of a sudden? Okay. My cross. Be scared. I am a Vatican? Vatican? Yeah, I'm from Vatican. I'm a priest. Oh, this is the house, huh? It's Interesting. Locked. Okay, it's locked. I guess I'll follow the deal then. Alright, another spirit relief. Mr. Martin. It has taken longer than expected. Registering the work markers on your property has a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscription on the gravestone are written in a language that we cannot identify. We have, we have sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach you out when I get the response from them. All the best. I can't read for shit. Oh, okay. All the best, uh, State of Connecticut Historical Society. Cool. Mr. Dear, you think you can run, but I will come to you. Ooh, what the hell is that? Ooh, interesting. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at the home. Amy keeps asking when she is going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she is getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problem occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to catch it. I think they might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them 
to look at the dead deer, it was pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twin birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. The fudge? What the hell? Oh, there was some purple guy running there. Alright. Gonna chase him. Oh, there are two. Oh, they are the twins, aren't they? Oh, interesting. I cannot. Uh, I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking and I pointed them back as towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel that right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of the storage. Oh, there's a rifle I see. Interesting. Anyway, those kids are gonna get to me. I'm not gonna let them go that easily. Ooh, interesting. The Martin's house lies about 100 yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway, street just out in the middle of the gravel path that is most likely covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father alert seemed father alert, okay. To know where he was going, he simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlight, uh, in the headlight, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father alert claimed that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martin had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with the elements of the right that may seem harsh to the to a person. Okay. Oh, it's, oh, there he is. All right, I found the key. Okay, go away. I will get the house. Get to the house. You can't stop me. Oh, I finally found it. Nice. Alright, we're inside the house. Interesting. Miss and Mr. Martin greet, greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in the, in the string. I fell for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic, in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Uh, so it was a demonic possession, huh? Interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, Nate. Okay, Nate. No? Is this the upstairs or the downstairs? Ah, this is the downstairs. And I see blood. Okay. There, is there not a path? Okay. Interesting. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightens my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked, what's the weirdest thing I have seen as a missionary. The area we are working in uh, has a lot of folk who practice Wamba, Wambamba. It's what you might call a pagan rich religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religion. religions. One of the 
saint they worship is saint is san la Mur or saint death okay yesterday we talked to, to a boy about 15 when we asked him if he had ever prayed he said no but i have prayed to san la Mute. Uh, he told us about the time when he stayed over at his cousin's house and according to him they prayed to some figure of saint la morta and he figures made things in the house move around. He got really quiet and scared looking after them. We told him uh, he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to the church but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter and up and get back to work. See you in your months later on. Interesting. Uh, the child is probably dead. Really? Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, stay away. Get the fuck away from me. Oh no. Why am I in the bed? Oh, what the hell? Amy, is that you? I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic when I got up. There it was, freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly all together. It was frustrating to talk to her or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our con conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and I, in other instances, spoke perfect Latin. I called for the help from the others, but nobody came, so I rewrote my crucifix and began the ride again. Interesting. So, am I doing the same? Oh. Bob must be uh, stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking dog for Amy's birthday. I'll ask uh, Anish about it and next time we have a book club. She looks like she, she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the dog. I think she would rather have a phone. Oh fuck. I'm so sorry. I press the wrong. What do I do? I think I'm dead. God damn it, this game. Alright, get lost, Amy. No one likes you. Yeah, I know. Alright. Ah, shit. I'm not that quick. I guess I'm gonna go in the attic again. Oh, there is another room that I have not explored yet. TV launch. Another room. Oh, the mirror. Alright. Nope, nothing here. Oh, those are sigils. Those aren't footsteps. I can't tell that much. Alright, I'm quickly gonna go down. Let's go back to the ritual place. You can't stop me, Amy. I'll get to you. Alright, Amy's parent could not endure the, uh, the witnessing the proceeding of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was uh, hysterical and the thing that was inside of Amy was feeding off the fear. 
Father led us me to take uh, Martins upstairs and I was physically worn out but managed to get them back up there back up the stair into the kitchen. Amy was screaming mother mother and the whole time finally I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After the few minutes we couldn't hear much of Amy uh, anything down in the basement. So I went down to check on the thing and I found Father Alert lying on his back unconscious with his arms spread out wide and Amy was not in the chair. Uh, so Amy got to him, huh? Oh shit. Gotta be kidding. Uh, okay. So where do I go now? Oh! Oh, I, I see what I have to do! I just have to keep on pointing each side until I figure, until the real one uh, kind of just pops up anyway. Alright, I did it. Alright, I understand now. I understand. I I have perceived the other side. I have to slay the demon now. They what? So what do I do? Just go around doing that? That's it. There's still some room. What did I miss? Now you have to go in the basement and do that one. Yeah, still? How many times do I have to do it? Or am I trying to reach the ritual room? Or probably I'm trying to reach the room. Do I have to do it here? I did it. Let's go, baby. I have figured out. It's so silent. I forget this game does not have any music to it. Oh, the attic. Yeah. That was the second time he found any yet. Okay. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the paper about what happened isn't true. She, she, my superior father, with when I converted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own. I have to go back to that house. The nightmare I am having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her if I don't come back. Know what I love you and I'm sorry, John. Okay, I have a very pretty name. Uh, am I going to boss fight or something? My God, what happened to you? Do oh. you my face is pretty. What? I have to finish what I started. Okay, I'm finishing my assignment. Okay, what 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 does the face look like? I just do that. What the hell is that? Oh, I see what I have to do. Okay, I did it. Oh, you're gonna show me your face? You don't have a face!
Oh, wait, what? Oh, I did it. Oh, genius. Oh, genius. Absolutely mind blown. Oh, oh I missed so badly. Oh, fuck you. I flicked it up so hard. Yes! Alright. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? Okay. Alright. Oh my god, this game is so frustrating sometimes. What the hell do you want now? What are you gonna do? Alright, just run away, alright, I get it. Holy shit. God damn it. Alright, now I guess I'm gonna go and find her, I guess? Kill her. Hmm. A gun, right? Is this a gun? Oh, there she is. Is she even alive? All right. What? Oh, I leave that. Well, that was fate. Hey, please. Oh no, did I get? Oh. I got the mother. Police arrest a man accused of murdering a missing girl. A New York man is in the custody after he confessed to the murder of a starling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Falmyra was pulled over on the Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might have been a poachers. The officer said the ward was uh, acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When request questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became in increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to the Starling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward uh, then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institute, institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the meadow, abandoned. Wait, Amy's body in the meadow. Oh, in the woods near now abandoned Martin home. In addition to the receiving uh, a gunshot wound to stomach, Amy sh uh, showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. The ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he imprisoned imprisoned a priest to oh impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after catholic authorities in rome confirmed that ward was no uh, not an ordained minister the rest of the article is okay okay 
That is sad. So what now? Do I go back? What? I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God is he my will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Oh shit. Oh god. This is the revenge of the deers. I have a broken leg. Oh shit. Ending out of four or five, okay. Okay. An identified body discovered near the wrecked car. The site of the deadly car incident was discovered along the road near uh, Starling this morning, along with the body of the person who had not been yet identified as something. AM, 6 AM. Uh, this morning, a resident called report an accident along the Snake Meadow Hill Road. Uh, the driver of the silver sedan had soared out of the road and struck the tree. The spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged se several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been dejected from the front windshield. It was uh, noted that uh, the body had been mangled beyond recognition. The investigator suspected this uh, was probably the work of Coyote. Please also noted that the parties of the clean. Ah. Please also noted that the parties parts of the clean white trail deer were founded in the trunk of the car. From the white tail deer, a hunter typically gets 50, 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears that the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Ah, bitch, suck it. Ho 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 ho! Brutal! Loved it! I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God is he my will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the war my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. Yeah, I got the good ending. What happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Alright, uh, 5 out of 5. So I got the um, 3 out of 2 endings. Okay. Fade in door. Police animal experts investigate the chupacabra remaining remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is uh, enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some uh, resident call in El Chupacabra, uh, chupacabra were discovered on the Snake Hill uh, Meadow Hill Road by motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle, and the parts of its uh, carcass were scattered across the road. Police uh, say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because of the 
a motorist who discovered the remains had told them that apparent uh, they appeared to be of a person after arriving at the scene police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal as a matter of public safety we want to be sure about what exactly we are dealing with here said the starling police spokesman this is clearly not a deer or a coyote if this is a mountain lion or a exotic pet that escaped from its owner or an animal uh, with a uh, rabies we need to know about it animal experts attack uh, attack to the investigation would not uh, speculate about what kind of animal had been found although they uh, com- commented that the animal was hairless anemic and apparently suffered from a rick- rickets a vitamin d deficiency what appears an uh, animal in children who have not received enough you know, sunlight interesting 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 oh shit what the hell are you Is he the demon? Why am I hurting him sometimes but not all the time? Oh, I have to look at him. No. All right. Okay, a letter. Interesting. October 23rd, 1986, dear Dr. Megalishan, Megalishan. Megalishan? I don't know. Uh, it has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinel, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my off- affiliation and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth with dr spinel's help i have come to accept what really happened in september at martin family residence i accept that what happened was not the result of my own supernatural phenomenon but rather the d- desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her doc dogmatic parents and old church ritual that are thought to drive out evil i am happy to report that since accepting the truth my nightmares have ceased and now i enjoy peace of mind that i have not felt since the incident given my progress since first coming here i respectfully re- request my release from yell psychiatric institute concept con continuing continuement upon follow up appointment appointment with dr spinel in the future sincerely john ward a uh, poor guy was put in the asylum uh, the, whatever the word, word is psychiatric hospital or something Oh. Hey you white guy, who are you? Oh. I could do that? Um uh I I 
I I shot a person. I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Oh shit. Oh, the father and the son. <laughs> Alright. Okay, estimate Cardinal Griffith. With all the due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, whatever darkness in, uh, is inside of him fights back with in increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at uh, such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside of him uh, affects the soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Okay. There's a one more ending. There's one more ending. I have only got in four endings. Ah, there it is. The final ending. Well, let's go back to the car. I have sacrificed a squirrel. For those who don't understand what happened. And now I'm just gonna go back home. I know that I have served my Dark Lord well. I shall be rewarded duly. Oh, ending out of three, the offering. Oh well, I got all the endings. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are the only 17, but you are clearly an adult, and you are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dream. If there is anything I can do to help you, just tell me. We are having a get-together at the clinic Friday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you again, Gary. Yeah, I got all the endings. Well, that was fun. Well then everyone, I'll see you in the next chapter. Bye-bye.